What's up, Creepers? Hey, Geekers, Chris, Steve, Tari, Creep. How's everyone doing today, guys? I hope you're all holding up and doing all right during the great lockdown of 2020. That's what I'm officially going to be calling this. Good Lord, we got extended. The school got extended for shutdown until at least May 4th. I don't know what the fucking point is of going back to school. But today's the 26th, so we don't need to worry about any of that. Today's the 26th of the month, which means we celebrate all things Atari. Now, I'm going to be playing a 5200 game instead of a 2600 game. But over at Atari.io on the 26th of every month, we decide to celebrate all things Atari. Play games, share it with our friends and family, wear your swag if you got any. Unfortunately, and as you know, usual, I didn't properly plan for this. So, <laughs> I didn't properly plan so all my swag is doity. Oh, damn it. Um. Okay, sera, sera. You know what I mean? Whatever. Sue me. So what we have here is a game called Major Major Blink for the Atari 5200. Um, I saw Willie of Arcade USA playing this uh, last week, I think. And said, yep, I want to play that too. So I went and downloaded the ROM. It's a, it's a port of a game from the Atari 8-bit, I believe. Turn! And the controls are a little... I mean, don't get me wrong, I just fucked up there, but... Controls are a little slippery, and it could just be my port. It could be my controller. It could be that I suck at everything. That I suck at life. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, uh, it's, it's your Pepper 2-style Armadar kind of style game. Where you're trying to complete squares. And you got guys over there like that guy in the green. I feel bad shooting him, but he's undoing what I'm doing here. And he's probably some, some union worker just doing his fucking job. And I come along and I fucking blast him right in his big melon. Um, I love Pepper 2. Uh, a buddy of mine had a, a Coleco when we were growing up. He also had an Adam. And he had Pepper 2. And I remember playing that game. A shit ton. Absolutely loved it. Loved it. Uh, I remember getting Armadar. And I didn't know Armadar existed until after, you know, my adult collecting days. So I got excited that there was a game similar on the Atari. And I went out and got it. And here's a fun story. So Armadar. <laughs> I thought my cart was broke when I bought it. I was so upset. I was like, oh no, my cart is broke. Because it was so slow. So I went out and bought another cart, and that one was slow too. Turns out that's just that's just the way it is with Armadar. Why can't I fire at this guy? Shoot! Oh, now they're coming from all over the fucking place. Go away! But yeah, you get these balls that will kill you. Now you can shoot the balls and stun them. And then you get those construction guys that will come down and undo what you just did. This is my, my, my deal here. I'm going to just kind of hang out here. Ah, oh, fuck. And let these, uh, and just draw these guys away from where I need to be, you know. That's the only strategy I really have. I don't even know what setting I put on here. Go, 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 go. Yes. But I'm not a big fan of Amadar. That's one of the, uh, pa uh Packer Brother cartridges, right? Same one that... The Empire Strikes Back was on. I could have sworn there were different levels. It was like this tiny block level. Maybe I'm just not good enough. Maybe I just picked the wrong skill. I don't know. Like I just said, I suck at life, so. <laughs> I suck at life. But yeah, I try to consistently celebrate Atari.io. And I really haven't talked much about the forums lately um, for no other reason than they've been having a little bit of trouble there tech with technical difficulties and stuff like that. I don't know. Something to do with something that I will never even try to begin to pretend to understand. It's being worked out, and I can't wait. I can't wait. There's going to be a huge relaunch. I can't wait to, to bring that to you because it's such a incredible community over there. I miss it. I miss it. I miss it so dearly. Right, well, let's do this. Get him into my sights. Oh, we celebrate 
Atari Day on the 26th of every month. We share our love for Atari. We play Atari. We wear our swag. And just proclaim to the world, Atari fucking rules. Old school Atari. Yes! His dumbass is blocked. Here's the problem. I was going to say, I can't go fucking fix that. If his, if his dumbass is there. Alright. Please, please let me get over there. Please let me get over there. Okay. Shit. I just trapped myself. I just trapped myself. Fuck. I knew that was coming. Alright, well, at least I can do this now. Yes. Some coffee. Yeah, let's we'll celebrate Atari, guys. Ah, there we go. This is what I was talking about. I was like, I thought this was. I must have hit the novice setting or something. I don't know. Emulating the Atari 5200 is sketchy at best. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you got so many fucking buttons. Run, 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 run. So many fucking buttons. So many buttons to try to key into one stupid little controller. It only works half the time anyway, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on over, guys. Come on over, balls. Alright, let's go over here and clear this up, and I'll go kill that fucking... A poor bastard just doing his job, you know. <sighs> Come on, controls. Undo what he's doing here. Fuck yeah, that's how it's done. That's how it's done in Creep Town. Screen 5. It's not even level. It's a screen. I'm sure it just ramps up in difficulty, you know. I wish the levels, though. I, I kind of wish the levels would change. Like, does it always have to be a fucking grid? Regardless of the size of the fucking things. Does it always have to be some kind of a grid? Oh, That was dumb! So I'm going over here. Fire! Fire! Shoot him in the head. But this is fun. This is a really fun game. I would I would recommend uh, finding a port of it or downloading the ROM from Atari Age. Um, I'd give you the link, but I'd rather you go over to Willie's video and watch his, his deal. So the link to the ROM will be in Willie's video at the end of this one. I'll put it at the bottom corner of the screen as well as in the show notes the description. Follow me. Follow me, balls. Come get me. Come get some. Fuck. Fuck! I killed him. I killed his ass. Right, yellow. Fuck stick. Fuck stick. I'm gonna shut my mouth soon. They're gonna monetize me here. But I wanna be able to be monetized. Assholes. I hate these fucking guys. Stop doing your fucking job. That, see, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Alright, well. I made it to board whatever the fuck. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. There's um Major Pain. No. Uh, Major Blink. Oh, I clicked on it by accident. Major Blink for the Atari 5200. Again, I believe it's a, a port that was actually an 8-bit computer port, which is which is really great. I, re I don't really talk much about the 5200. But if you want to experience a 5200, um, get yourself 
an eight, you know, an Atari eight bit computer. It's practically the same thing, but it works. You know what I mean? Controller wise, you can just use your standard twenty six hundred controllers, or you could use a Sega Genesis controller, or whatever your fancy is. But there you go, major blank Atari fifty two hundred. I'll put a link to Willie's video where you can get the, the ROM for this if you want it. Um, I'm pretty sure at Atari age, it may be for sale on carts. I'm not too sure about that. But either way, it was a fun game. And I wanted to do something a little different for Atari Day this year. So go ahead and leave your thoughts down below if you ever played this. Do you like games like Pepper 2? I absolutely fucking -lutely love Pepper 2. I'm a dad, maybe not so much. Let me know other games that are similar to this on other systems. Uh, if I'm missing out, I would love to do these box completion style games. I love this kind of a puzzle game. Um, and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback too. The creep is positive, guys. Thank you always so much for watching. I know when, since we've been home, I should be pumping out. It's tough to get videos done with three ladies in the house in this tiny little apartment. So I'm trying to sneak them in there when they go for a little walk or whatever. So that's really all there is to it. So guys, I hope, again, you guys are doing well. Uh, follow the rules. Stay home so we can fucking get back to normalcy as soon as possible. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. Find the little button here. Open play.